Hey guys, Steve here once again to give a refreshed and quick guide on how to install an HP LaserJet 1012 on Windows 10. I received a lot of requests to update this for the new operating system that Microsoft released, so I figured I'd get this out of the way. Just a heads up, the steps used in my original video still apply, but the only things that have changed are how to get to the control panel and the troubleshooting. With that out of the way, let's get started. Just a reminder, make sure the printer is plugged in, turned on, and connected to your PC. In my case, I'll be using my Dell XPS 13 laptop. From the PC, we'll need to access the legacy control panel. If you try using the modern settings, you won't get anywhere. On the taskbar, press the Cortana icon, or on the keyboard, press the Windows key and S key together to bring up the same menu. Type in the search bar control panel, and select the first choice. From there, things should look a lot like Windows 7 or 8. Under Hardware and Sound, click on the link to view printers and devices. After that, click on the link on the top to add a printer. On the next window, select the link that says the printer that I wanted isn't listed, and then click on the link that says add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. Under Choose a Printer Port, select Use an Existing Port, and under the drop down list, Select dot four underscore zero zero one and next. At the printer driver screen, click on the Windows Update button and wait until the selections come back again. Depending on your internet speeds, it could take a few minutes or longer to load all the current set of drivers. I had to wait 45 minutes, so you might want to walk away from the PC for a while. When the driver selection does appear again, Select HP under Manufacturer, and under Printer select HP LaserJet 3055 PCL5 Microsoft, and Next. For the printer name, you can name it what you want, I called it by its actual name. After clicking Next again, the driver will install and ask if you want to share it on your network. I chose not to, and click Next. From there, the driver is installed and you have the option to print a test page. I did, and it came out okay without an error. Now, in terms of the unsupported personality PCL page that most people get, at least I can report that after using the printer for a few hours, I have not received that page. I tested it by sending multiple print jobs and have not errored out yet. Before with Windows 7 or 8, after 6 print commands, I would get an error, but for some reason this time I don't. Still, I don't want to give anyone high hopes, so just in case it does appear again for some people, I'll just leave the two common solutions to fix it. The first common solution is going to an Explorer window, and going to the path C colon backslash windows backslash system32 backslash spool backslash printers, deleting any files within that folder, and restarting. The second common solution, which is kind of a pain in the butt for most people, is to manually turn off and on the printer each time the error occurs. So hopefully this gives some users an updated guide on how to install this printer on a new Windows 10 PC, and shows that this little printer can keep going with just a little rigging, Feel free to make the comments section a forum for anyone having their own trial and error on this topic, and I'll certainly try to help when I have free time. So, that'll do it for me, this is Steve signing off, and thanks for watching.